It's your high priestess, your sister witch, Kathy. Hey, witches, family, peeps, and foes. Today, I'm making a quick little video from the darkness. And I wanted to talk about when you are getting spiritual or spiritualist type of workings from people. If you're not a witch or you're not a spiritualist, you know, if you don't practice, you should not have to be doing any type of work. If you hire someone like me to do work for you, you should not be having to do any work. I want to let you all know that watch my videos. Now, it's okay to get instructions from someone like me or from, you know, a shaman, you know, uh, you know, a warlock, whoever that you're working with. It's okay to get instructions. Like if they tell you, like with me, if I give you something to write down and I tell you to keep it with you for a certain amount of days, you know, so that we can have that, uh, point of contact since we're not face to face, you know, that thing that's going to connect us, you know, simple things like that. Or if I tell you, you know, to, uh, uh, make sure that you listen to something that I send you, you know, that's okay. But I'm not going to tell you to actively go out and do some work on your own. If you're hiring me, to do work for you now now if you're a witch or if you're practicing and you want to do work with me while I'm doing work for you that's perfectly fine because I get witches and different types of spiritualists and spiritual people they just need help they just need like a little push you know they need more than one person so that their stuff can work and that's okay you know, that's why I have a coven too, you know, because sometimes in certain cases and different things, you might need one more than one person to help you. You know, and those of you that know me know that I don't, you know, uh, I don't back the Bible or anything, but there is a Bible verse in there that says, you know, if three or two or more of you are gathered together, you know, so it goes that way. In magic as well you know so you know that's why I say you know if you're uh, just a client you know I wouldn't say just a client but if you're a client and you're not practicing if you want to get someone else to work on your behalf that's fine but it's always good to let your root worker and your spiritualist or your spiritual worker let them know what's going on you know so that they don't get into you know, helping you, and then there's someone else doing work, and it and it messes it all up. You need to be honest and upfront with your root worker. You need to be honest and upfront with your spellcaster. You know, if you're getting stuff done, or if you have, you know, the person that you went to before. You know, you need to let them know what's going on because a lot of times what happens is that spirit doesn't tell or show that root worker or that spell caster you know that you have went to 80 different people before you came to them you know and it's it, it's it's just like that and sometimes lessons are learned to be learned from situations like that so instead of your root worker finding out about it later on and get upset with you you know, because you haven't been honest and they got to go back and do all of this uncrossing, all of this cleansing, all of this protection work and stuff. Be upfront with the person that you go to. Don't try to hide stuff. I get so many clients that hide stuff from me when they come to me because they figure, okay, well, I don't need to tell her that. Or if she don't see that, she don't need to know. I just want her to go ahead and do the work and get me the results. Well, no, it don't work like that, you know. And it's a lesson because a lot of times, you know, um, like with me, 
I may not use my discernment at that time when I'm dealing with the person because, you know, I got all of this other stuff going on, you know. So, you know, I'm letting you know, you know, you're spending your money getting help to better your life, to get a situation that you need to have done to get on track. You know, whether it's with your finances, your relationship or whatever, you know, you need to keep it real. Be up front. Just like if you're going to a doctor's appointment, you know, just be up front. The doctor may not see it right away that there's something wrong with you until after he runs all of these tests on you and find out, oh, well, your liver is fucked up. Do you have a drinking problem? Ugh. Well, if you had told him the truth that you'd be drinking all the time, then he would, he would have not had to go through unnecessary stuff and maybe gotten you the help that you need and to get your results fast right away. Listen to me, people, you know. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up from the darkness. And, you know, and just letting you know, um, if you're going to someone, you know, and, and you're not a person that does workings or whatever, you need to let your root worker and your spellcaster know that. You know, even, you know, with your readings, you know, like if you're going to someone to get a reading, let them know up front, hey, I've never had a reading before. I have no idea what to expect. You know, just be honest, you know, because we're here to help you. You know, this is not, don't go to a, uh, a reader or, you know, a root work or whatever, like test, just to test them or whatever. What's the point in that? You want to get all that you can with your money. Get what you pay us for. Get what you can, what you pay us for. Let us do our job. And I hope this has helped some of you. You know, like I said, if you go to someone, you shouldn't have to be doing all of that work. You shouldn't have to do anything unless you're a witch or you're practicing yourself and you just want to, you know, uh, you know, do that. Then that's fine. So if you need to contact me, hit me up at highpriestesskathy at gmail.com or you can contact me at highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com you can also find me on my fam fan page on facebook and also you can find me on twitter i'm gonna be on twitter and i'll have all of that information on my channel or message me on my youtube channel have a great weekend and bye